Are you recognizing God's providential guidance in the circumstances of your life? Welcome to the Daily Devo. I am Vince Miller. This week we are in 1 Samuel chapter 9 and I titled this chapter Guided by God. Today we pick up at the point in the story where Saul and his servant are out looking for their father's lost donkeys and decide to go see the seer or prophet named Samuel to get some help finding them. And now the two men meet, that is Samuel and Saul, and our text picks up in 1 Samuel chapter 9 verses 18 down through 24. Samuel answered Saul, I am the seer. Go up before me to the high place for today. You shall eat with me and in the morning I will let you go and will tell you all that is on your mind. That is interesting. (laughs) As for your donkeys that were lost three days ago, do not set your mind on them for they have been found. Also fascinating. (laughs) And for whom is all that is desirable in Israel? Is it not for you and your father's house? Again, fascinating moments here. Saul answered, am I not a Benjamite from the least of the tribes of Israel and is not my clan the humblest of all the clans of the tribe of Benjamin? Why then have you spoken to me in this way? He's perplexed. Do you hear it? Then Samuel took Saul and his young man and brought them into the hall and gave them the place at the head of those who had been invited who were about 30 persons. And Samuel said to the cook, bring the portion I gave to you, of which I said, put it aside. So the cook took up the leg, which was set aside, obviously, for the priest, and what was on it and set it before Saul. And Samuel said, see what is kept is set before you. Eat, because it was kept for you until the hour appointed that you might eat with the guest. So Saul ate with Samuel that day. (laughs) All right, this is absolutely fascinating. This is an incredible moment. Did you notice all the little divine moments in this text? The divine occurrences of God. Number one, the timing of the initial meeting. As ordained by God, God led Saul to Samuel, the man that Samuel was to anoint the first prince of the people of Israel. Number two, There's the resolution of the lost donkeys. As ordained by God, the lost donkeys of Kish have been found as prophesied by Samuel. Third, there is a preparation of a great banquet. As ordained by God, Saul shows up at just the right time, dinner time. Remember, he is out of bread as he's been on a multi-day quest only to find that on the eve of this day, He's going to enjoy a great feast as the guest of honor for whom the best portion of the meal was pre-planned. And number four, the revelation of Saul's lifelong calling is discovered right here. As ordained by God, Saul would discover that he would transition from a pauper and a peasant to a prince in the kingdom of Israel. (laughs) All the issues in the story get resolved suddenly and in one moment in time. God's selection of the first king, Kish's lost donkeys, Saul and his servants' need for food, and the remarkable discovery of Saul's lifelong calling as the next king of Israel. You know, when I seek God's guidance, I always look for how God will resolve issues in a way that only God can. Nothing happened here that Samuel or Saul made happen. Nothing Yet none of what happened here was happenstance or coincidental. Both men were simply obedient men who took simple steps of faith. Yet in the middle of nowhere land, a farm boy from nowhere town would be appointed the first king over God's people. One of the great leadership roles in the kingdom, in the nation of Israel. You know what? Listen carefully. God still works exactly like this. He does things like this all the time in my life. And he does stuff just like this in your life too. And you know what you need to start doing? You need to start seeing them. You need to start giving recognition to them and stop dismissing them as happenstance or circumstantial. They are not. Because guess what? If you start seeing them, the next time you're in one of those moments where you feel lost and desperate for his direction you will become way less irritated, 
by all the issues happening around you, and then you'll start being more obedient in the mundane, and then you will see God's providential, not circumstantial, guidance and work in your life. I love you guys. I pray this will bless you. If it has, share it with someone else, and live all in for him who lived all in for you.